Welcome to the fourth workshop on open-ended evolution. If you haven't found the workshop page yet, it's at workshops.alife.org forward slash OEE4. One of the most exciting challenges in artificial life is the generation of open-ended evolution. Anyone new to this area will want to know what open-ended evolution is. We think of open-ended evolution as being defined by its behavioural hallmarks, which give rise to different kinds or categories of open-ended evolution, and about which there is now a good degree of consensus. These behavioural hallmarks are distinct from hypothesized requirements or mechanisms for the generation of open-ended evolution, about which there is currently less of a consensus and there are many different, although often complementary, ideas. So we're interested in two broad areas. First, the behavioural hallmarks of open-ended evolution and the empirical demonstration of those hallmarks in natural and artificial systems. And second, what are the requirements or mechanisms that are necessary or sufficient for the generation of those hallmarks, i.e. to achieve open-ended evolution? The best place to look for a summary of open-ended evolution's behavioural hallmarks is in the editorial introductions to the first and second issues of the 2019 double special issue on open-ended evolution, which contain publications that follow on from the third workshop on open-ended evolution. In the first of these, we see that open-ended evolution's hallmarks include the ongoing generation of adaptive novelty of different kinds and the ongoing growth of complexity. In this view, major transitions and the evolution of evolvability were seen as kinds of adaptive novelty. In the second issue, though, we separated those out, recognising them as being somewhat distinct. The papers in those two special issues represent a significant body of work on open-ended evolution, and we now have new results presented at this workshop, both in relation to empirical demonstrations of the behavioural hallmarks and in relation to underlying mechanisms, that is, hypothesised requirements for the generation of open-ended evolution. The workshop and its papers and presentations also have a focus on drawing out and building on the main lessons learned and the milestones achieved in the papers from the 2019 special issue and the papers here, within the framework outlined in the special issues, and including better identifying the key challenges in open-ended evolution. On the workshop's website, you can see that we have two sessions. Each quick and standard talk has an extended abstract or paper link which we encourage everyone to look at. Toward the end of the workshop, we also have an invited talk from Ken Stanley and a special session for general discussion and organisation in terms of publications and the future development of the field. Before we get going with the first talk, two quick organisational points. First, we're not recording the workshop but we have invited presenters to record a version of their presentation that we can upload to YouTube and link from the workshop's webpage. Second, we have a packed schedule and the session chairs will be doing our best to keep to time. So presenters, please keep to at most 8 minutes for a quick talk and 15 minutes for a standard talk to allow some time for questions and answers. Now on to the first talk. 